Good morning, everyone. It is the crack of dawn and there are already butterflies swarming in my stomach. Today is a very big day, as you can tell by the title, because both Buggy and Monty, my main two competing horses, have qualified for the Yorvigan Horse Trials, which is an unbelievable feat. It is the biggest three-day eventing show on Yorvik, and today is dressage day. I actually hauled the boys up yesterday because Monty's dressage test is super early this morning, and I thought it'd be good to have the boys settled in their stalls for a bit. Let's not waste any more time and get right to it. I had a few things to do before I headed out. The to-do list really helped me keep my brain from getting as scrambled as my eggs were this morning. Sorry, bad joke. Anyway, I ate a quick breakfast, which was not settling well at all in my stomach. Sometimes before a horse show, I swear I go into like fight or flight mode, which I'd like to say isn't typical for me, but in reality, this happens every single show morning. Got ready in record time. I put my show shirt on and pull over to attempt to keep the show shirt clean. Then I remembered I'd completely forgotten to clean my boots from my last show with Monty apparently because they were still covered in muck and grime so I quickly gave those a once over with a damp cloth and then some leather conditioner to give them an extra shine. Then I got to packing my clothes and rider gear. All the horse things had been packed the night before thankfully so I didn't have to worry about that. I brought a well-fitting helmet for safety of course. Riding attire um, which included two pairs of show breeches, show shirts and jackets, base layer for cross country and then my show boots as well as a boot care kit and also white and black gloves. Finally I packed my safety vest which is of course super important for the cross country phases. I also brought a container of Equicom because I had forgotten it the day before and I give this to Buggy during competitions because like me, he also gets show nerves. With everything packed, it was time to hit the road. Shocker, for the first time in, I think, ever, I was actually right on time. Monty would be the first to kick off the weekend with his dressage test, which was bright and early at 7 a.m. Technically, the weekend was kicked off with a trot up and good news, I mean, obviously both boys passed or I would wouldn't be here. Anyways, can we just appreciate the fact that Monty looks like a little ninja or something with his hoodie? I plaited up his mane yesterday just to give me that precious extra hour of sleep and it did a really good job of keeping the plaits in. And despite having overnight boots on, as well as a stable blanket, as well as a hoodie, he is a talented one because he somehow managed to get poo stains all over him, so I had to break out the stain remover. I just hope he can bring that same talent out to the show ring. At 6.30 a.m. sharp, I let him out of the barn to give us plenty of time to get a proper warm-up in. It's quite interesting. Every time I get on my horse at a show, my nerves just sort of melt away and it's like all that matters, as cheesy as it sounds, is just me and my horse. And hey, if this round went horribly, I would have a second try with Buggy. Our next rider is Molly Reversi and her horse, Montgomery. had a successful first event of the weekend. I was over the moon with Monty's performance. Usually dressage is not my strong suit, but Monty has certainly made me a much better rider in that regard. After Monty was taken care of with lots of treats, don't worry, I had a break in the day before my next class with Buggy. Once my first test was over, my show anxiety really settled down. So I was able to stomach a bit more food and I had a really lovely time with some new friends that I made who were also fellow competitors. Next out was Buggy. He was actually on stall rest for like a week due to an abscess and I had just got him back into work like a few days ago. So my main objective was just hoping he wouldn't go absolutely feral out there. Our next runner is Molly Riversky and her horse, It's a Bug's Life. Someone to clean up and tame. Oh, some things never change, never change. You think I would look pretty on your arm once you cover up my bruises and battle scars, but it always ends the same. The things I've had to face Got you crying on your knees in pain Oh, some things never change Never change Oh, you break your back to make me feel again So forget to make me breathe again Lose your mind from endless pain 
Hi everyone, I'm back at my hotel room, just had a check on the horses and they are all tucked away for the night. So maybe you noticed the fun little spook we had there. Um, there were some flowers that I guess just appeared out of nowhere, according to Buggy. So we might not have gotten the marks I originally wanted or the exact day I had hoped to have, but it's okay. And other than that little incident, he was actually super forward and collected, maybe a little rushy at some points, but for Buggy, who's been on stall rest for a little while, and whose strong suit is definitely not dressage, it was pretty good up to that point. Hey, that's just horses for you. You never really know what to expect. As for Monty, I could not have asked for a better round. We finished in second place, which is so surreal to me. He had such a lovely frame and balance and his lateral work, which has felt a little stiff lately, was super smooth. Um, anyways, guys, I'm pretty tired, so I'm gonna hit the hay, but I will see you all in the morning for show jumping. It was day two and before the show started at 6 a.m. they let us take a little walk through the course to get an idea of the stridings and make a plan and I have to say I was super excited. There were some really fun rollbacks in this course, some cool combinations that were a little tricky but I was excited to tackle and only 30 minutes later got Monty groomed and tacked up because we were the very first duo to go that day. Not ideal because I kind of like looking at other people go before me just so I'm sure I know where I'm going but nonetheless we take everything in stride and I had studied that course better than any test I'd ever taken before, so I felt pretty prepared. Entering the ring is Molly Riversea and her horse Montgomery. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us. And look at that, we were slow and steady, perhaps a bit too careful, but it was clear and we didn't go over time, so I couldn't have been more happy. And at the same time, I know we could have done even better, but hey, that just leaves room to grow. An hour later, Buggy was ready for his round, and here is where I made a crucial mistake. When we hauled Buggy and Monty out to the trials, we had taken them in separate trailers in order to keep them from getting Buddy sour during the weekend. I completely spaced and walked right past Monty's stall. When Buggy let out a frantic whinny, I knew I had just screwed up. Oh, good grief. When it came time for our warm up, Buggy was pretty upset and very distracted. Popped him over the warm up jump a few times, and we had several refusals, which just made my heart sink. After a little bit of schooling him, he was getting his brain back, and just in the nick of time, because then the judges called us up. In the ring is Molly and her voice is a We were flying through the course. We did unfortunately get eight faults during a tricky combination. He did get a little strong on me, but other than that, he handled everything like a champ, especially considering he was graced with Monty's presence and couldn't get him off his mind for a moment there, but luckily he got over it. I was too nervous to even check the placings. It was killing me a little bit, but I just wanted to go into the cross country day with a clear head and no expectations. With my show jumping rounds done and over with, basically at 12 p.m. the day felt like it was already over, but lucky for me, they had a writer's banquet lunch and dinner event throughout the day to socialize and connect with other competitors. I thought I would be getting bored on this particular day, but I quite liked having the day to not stress about anything, or at least have a break from the nerves until morning. Somehow, cross country day was upon us. The horses had been working so hard for me, so they got some body work done to help ease some muscle tension and get them feeling really good for the big day. The course was particularly tricky. Definitely not for the faint of heart with lots of winding paths, difficult combinations, and quite frankly, intimidating obstacles. This was actually my first ride out cross country since my fall a few weeks ago with my client's horse, Pumpkin. So walking through the course got me excited, but also nervous. I was delighted to see that Monty was my first ride of that day though and he always takes care of me out on the cross country course so that definitely made me feel a bit better <laughs>
said everyone, Monty always takes care of his rider. He is such a reliable ride. I think I started to tear up after that final obstacle because of how overwhelmingly proud I am of this incredible horse. He was bold and confident without getting cocky and completely taking over. He completely helped me out. Such a forgiving and good boy this one is. Oh, it was time for Buggy. After such an amazing round with Monty, I felt barely any pressure here. I was just ready to go out and have a fun time with my horse, despite this being one of the biggest shows of my life. This horse can be tricky at times, but when I get my stuff together, boy is he just incredible. He's a very honest horse, so when I'm off my game, he knows it. So I think my round with Monty really helped and gave me such a good confidence boost. I think he could just really feel that throughout the round. Well, as of now, my round with Buggy has been the fastest clear round of the entire show. Of course, the day's not over, but right now we're sitting at a cool first place for our cross country round. What can I say? This horse is just an absolute beast on the cross country course. Moving on to our top five placings for the coveted European horse trials. We have Abigail Brighton with her horse, Lucky Lady. Coming in at fourth place, we have rider Molly University and her horse, Montgomery. Congratulations. Monty snagged fourth place out of 80 horse and rider duos. What a surreal experience this all has been. And I can't forget about Buggy, who was just on the verge of the top 10 and ended up receiving 13th place overall. Even though the weekend started off a bit shaky with our dressage round, he really tied it up in cross country and he did end up receiving first place with that. I'm just a super proud horse mom today to have worked so tirelessly to qualify for the Orvigan horse trials. And then for it to pay off like this is such an incredible incredible feeling, but I will leave you all right there with lots more adventures from the Cosmic Equestrian Center to come in the future. Make sure to subscribe to be part of our barn family, and I will see you all in the next adventure. Bye everyone!